Hey guys, welcome back to another video from Zendry's Home Style Cooking. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to make this delicious callaloo and chicken pasta. It tastes so delicious. You're going to enjoy it. Trust me guys, you will be enjoying this video today. So if you're interested to see how I make this, then stick around and let's get cooking. First thing we're going to start working on is our chicken and I have here this is two large chicken breasts that I've just cut them each in two so I have four pieces here I've already washed them with some lime and vinegar and I also pat dry them with a piece of napkin so I'm just going to go ahead and cut them up in small pieces I don't want them to be too big because I want everything to cook evenly okay so this size right so I don't want them to be too big and I don't want them to be too small as well Okay, so this is all the chicken is looking as you can see it's nice and clean so these are all the seasoning that I will be using to season my chicken so I have here some chicken season I also have some red pepper flakes some uh, Mrs. Dash season as well season blend I have here some all-purpose season some onion flakes garlic powder oregano and some red um, paprika sorry I also have some paprika here that I'll be adding to it as well as my green blend and I do have a recipe coming out for this and I will be adding some olive oil to it and seasoned so I'm just gonna put this to marinate for about half an hour and then we can start working on the color loo, okay so we're gonna work on our color loo, and I have here my color loo that I've stripped and washed so it's nice and clean I choose to go ahead and do it myself I didn't want the pre-cut ones because a lot of time I get too much of the this part in it and I don't really like it so I'm just gonna cut this up and then we can go ahead and prepare it. Although I have a video already on how to do my color loo, I'm just going to show you guys again. Okay. It's looking it's nice and fresh and clean isn't it gorgeous all right, so just, all right so all my vegetables is nice and clean so I'm just going to cut them up and I'm going to just do enough for when I'm making the sauce as well as when I'm doing the color blue, okay Alright, so I have my pot here that is nice and hot. I'm going in with my olive oil, just a little, to do the color though, okay? I'm going to add my seasoning. Thank you. 
e o Edson Mestache. Some hot pepper seasoning. That. I'm gonna cover it and allow it to steam for about five minutes. All right, so I'm gonna check on it. Okay, so as you can see, it's finished. So I'm just gonna turn this off and we can start working on it. So this is the pasta I'm using and my water is boiling. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add it to it. You can use whichever um, pasta you want to use, okay? So I'm gonna allow this to boil until it's al dente. I don't want it to be too soft because remember, we're gonna finish it up. Add in some olive oil just to prevent them from sticking together. Okay guys, so I have my pot here that is already heated and I'm just going in with some coconut oil and we're going to do the chicken, all right? That's it. Just going to add my chicken to it. Going to cover the pot a little. Alright, so I'm gonna check on it now. Five minutes has passed. I don't want it to dry out too much. I don't like when my breast is dry. So I can go ahead now and remove this from it and then we can start sorting the vegetables. Alright, so we're not going to change the pot or anything. We're just going to add some more oil to it because we want to get all the niceness in the pasta. Alright, so just you could also deglaze the pot, okay? But I'm not deglazing it because I'm using the heavy cream. So no. Alright, so I'm just going in with my vegetables that we cut up earlier. Adding the garlic to it. Okay, every cream, and I have two cups here. Just gonna add it to it. I'm going to add some water to this. So just mix that around and I'm going in with some parsley flakes. Also adding some oregano as well. Some paprika. a little bit, a pinch of salt. So I'm mix this up. So I'm just going to add some cheese to it. I have some grated parmesan here. Just going to add some to that as well. a bit more and I also have some that is pre-shredded already so I'm just going to add that to it The 
just going to add all of it. Ooh, this smells so good, guys. My pasta now. Alright, we're just going to give it a few more minutes and then it's all finished. My delicious callaloo and chicken pasta. Oh my goodness, guys! I taste some. It tastes so, so delicious. It's just so different from broccoli and chicken pasta. Oh my word! You're gonna enjoy this recipe. So go ahead and try it out and let me know how do you like it. Okay. So once again, I hope you did enjoy today's quick and easy video. And if you did enjoy, don't forget to go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. Remember to share my videos with your friends and family as well as let me know what you think about today's video in the comments section. If you haven't yet subscribed, subscribe to the channel and be a part of the family as well as follow me and all my social media pages. On Instagram, it's Zendry underscore home underscore style underscore cooking as well as on Facebook, it's Zendry's home style cooking. Once again guys, thank you for tuning in. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.